Let's solve this together. We are given this diagram. This is your rectangle. And you see that this rectangle has parts. It has four parts in it. And this area is 15. The area, as you know, is the amount of space that any plane shape occupies. So if this is my plane shape, the space inside is what we call the area. So for this, the area is 15 square units. For this, the area is 6. For this, the area is 14. And the question wants us to find this area. Pause for a while. Is this something you can do? Let's know your thoughts in the comments. Let me teach you mine. So to answer this question, we know too well that whatever be the dimension of this part from this to this, whatever be the dimension should also be the same with what you will have here and also the same with what you will have here. So in that case, this dimension is the same with this and is also the same. Now, whatever be the dimension of from here to here should also be the same with this. So let's use two strokes for it. Now, we also know that whatever I have from here to here, we have it as three strokes is the same with what you have in this tree. And whatever I have here, it should also be the same with this. Now, with this, we can give them letters to help us to solve. So we can give this A. And this is B. And if here is A, this side also becomes A. And if here is B, here becomes B. Now we can give this C, and here becomes C. And this is D, and this becomes D. Now with this, does it help us to answer this question? Let's see to that. Now we know that for every rectangle, you observe that each of these shapes is forming a rectangle because the dimensions are not the same. And for every rectangle, the area is always the length multiplied by the breadth. So that is the area that will guide us through. So to answer this, if you bring this shape out, you observe that to get the area of this is multiplying these two sides. So let's take it to this part. So to get the area of this, this, this shape, it means you are going to have A multiply C. And when you multiply it, it gives you this area, which is 6. Then the second is, to get this area, multiply these two sides. So it's going to give us BC should be equal to 15. Then here we now have, to get this area, it means we should multiply these two. And that gives us AD is equal to 14. And finally, to get this, we multiply B and D. And when you multiply it, it gives you the area we are looking for. Now, at this point, what do you think we should do? Now, what we do is we can label this equation one. This is equation two. We can label this three. And this is finally four. So what trick did you discover? Let's multiply these two equations. So we multiply, multiply equation one and 4. So if you do that, you are going to have AC. So we have AC multiplies BD. And when we multiply, it's going to give us C multiplies the area. This area, we can use A to represent it. So if you simplify this, you are going to have AB multiply this. It gives us ABCD is equal to 6 multiplies A, and that is the same as 6A. So we can label this in this form. Now we also go to the remaining equations. We can choose to multiply these two, and to do that, we are going to have, so multiply equation 2 and 3. So let's do it. So we have BC multiplies AD, if you multiply this, it should be equal to 15 multiplies 14. Now let's multiply this. It's going to give us ABCD is equal to 15 multiplied by 14. Now we can also label this in this form. Did you observe anything between these two? You observe that this is ABCD and this is ABCD. So the two sides are the same. It means the equation is equal. 
So what we do is we are going to equate. So we equate the two equations together. So to do that, we are going to have. So this gives us. So we are going to have 6a should be equal to 15 multiplies 14. At this point, we want to find a. So we're going to divide by 6. So this takes off this. So we have area is equal to 15 multiplied by 14 divided by 6. So we can use 3 here. We give us 2. 3 here, we give us 5. 2 here is 1. 2 here is 7. So we multiply these two. And 5 multiplied 7 gives us 35. So the area is 35 square units. And I hope you learned something. Let's know how much. Like, share this video, subscribe for more tips. Thank you. And I'll see you in my next class. Bye.